God bless you. I'm about to be interviewed with Tarai, so I'm just waiting for him to reach out, and um, we'll see how it goes. All right, this is Friday, June the 5th, June the 5th. So let's hear. Uh, the topic at hand is um, dealing with the marijuana issue and it being legalized in Bermuda. Well, he's just noted me, so it looks like we are getting ready to roll, folks. Let's see how it goes. <sighs> Holy Spirit, I rely on you as always. As always. Good afternoon, Dr. Cena. God bless you there, Tarai. How are you today? Uh, okay, thanks. Glad to see you. We haven't talked in quite a while. It, I, it's, it's been I a while. We wouldn't cross paths again. <laughs> because I know that um, a lot of people in the religious community here are not in favor of uh, cannabis legalization. Mm -hmm. So I knew we would be in touch. Yep. I figured you'd be making your runs and you would somehow we would connect one more time. I have no problem with that. All right. So uh, I'm just going to put a few questions on the issue to you and record it and play most of it back, uh, edit it down. And, uh, okay. Let me st start the recording. Let me turn my mic down. And I'm recording as of right now, and for the record, I'm chatting with Dr. Maria Seaman, pastor at Shekinah Worship Center, Hamilton Parish. Dr. Seaman, you stated on social media that you oppose the legalization of marijuana, but you are in favor of decriminalization. Why one and not the other? But let's go to the decriminalization, first of all. Um, I do feel that many folks begin using weed as a desire and then it trips over into becoming a disease now whether it be a psychological disease or a biological disease that's what needs to be addressed that's what needs to be let's not make them a criminal don't make them a criminal because they got caught in it and then as far as legalization why would you legalize something that is already um, a, a deficit to the society, a deficit to families, a deficit in the education system. I am just absolutely flabbergasted to think that we are even considering legalizing something that is not a plus in our society. People might say that cigarettes and alcohol are already legal, which cause all sorts of issues. So, so why not marijuana? Oh, you, you, you're going to tell me that because we already have poison in the society, why not add another poison? I can't even believe people would, would make that analogy. I think I just responded. Why would we add another drug, another, another deficit, and make it legal? Like we don't already have people participating in it freely right now. Now we want to set it as a standard for generations to come that this is okay. Yeah, I'm, for, I'm not for cigarettes or alcohol either. So why would I be for weed? What's your view on consuming marijuana on medical grounds? Um, here, here's my thing. If it's, it's, it is a, an extract, an oil coming out of a plant, I have no problem with that. I have no problem. Medication comes from herbs, comes from plants. No problem at all. Um, however, <laughs> the people that I see, oh, I know of, um, that may be involved in smoking marijuana ain't because they need it for medicine. <laughs> they don't need it for medicine or meditation. They need it just for me. It's recreation. And this is not something to play with. This is not something that, oh, it's just recreation. To some, it's recreation, and to many, it's a destruction. Some people can afford to do whatever they want to do. However, I feel that Bermuda, Bermudians, especially those in the lower income bracket, considered on the lower end economically, we can't afford to do this. This thing is messed with families. I wish we would just be totally honest how many families have been destroyed, how many single parents have gone without because of this. It's a social issue. That's why they need help. They need counseling. 
They don't need for something to become a law. It's just not going to get better when we make it free. What do you say to people who feel that uh, can people already smoke uh, or use cannabis every day in Bermuda for years? And all this, all the government is trying to do is to provide a framework. Government needs to have a higher standard to understand that what people are already doing is wrong now. So why don't we implement that law that it's wrong? Let's, let's set a standard. Why are we afraid of standards? Why are we afraid to be different and to be honest? We will not have our society, um, those who are considered now, oh, they really want it and they're already doing it. Well, that's not going to benefit their lives. Just because my child wants to do something, <laughs> even if they've been doing it behind my back, I'm not going to, as a parent, legalize something that is destructive. And I believe that marijuana being smoked, so it's destroyed all of its natural tendencies, extracts that they can use in the medical field. I'm not against that. Don't tell me that all this smoking of marijuana, I wish you would present me with feminists and say, oh, this is just the best thing that has happened in our lives. And what, if it's not good for one family, it's not good for any family. We have countries like Portugal and the Netherlands uh, who have already legalized marijuana in some form and they appear to be doing well as countries and as societies. So why should Bermuda be any different? First of all, Bermuda is different, all right? I'm, I'm amused how we love to be different concerning certain issues, then we want to be like everyone else concerning other issues. Portugal and all these places you mentioned, are they 20 miles long? Do they have the makeup of Bermuda? I don't think so. So don't waste time telling me other places have it. They are not Bermuda. They are not Bermudians. And they are not going to be the recipients of families that are going to go through children that are going to suffer more. It's, it's not their personal cause, so let's deal with it on at home base. This is Bermuda. And in this case, Bermuda is another place, another world. All right, those are my questions, Dr. Sima, but I end it there unless there was something you wish to alter or add to it. Let, let me add that. I approach this topic, like all topics, in my realm as being a biology teacher. I had pre-med, I did pre-med. Being a biology teacher, and also being a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so, you know, you're gonna have many that think I'm only coming from one angle. I've, I've been the recipients of students coming in the classroom a little glossed over. And I can tell you, this is not what we want to loose on our society. And I hope that part makes the interview. Yes, I'll get that in for sure. Thank you. All right. Um... Thank you again for your time, Dr. Seymour. I really appreciate Always. it. Always. Anytime, Tarai. Anytime. All right? Thank you. God bless and, me. Uh, you have a great weekend. Hey, God bless you. As always, um, I'm eager to share my concern and share words of wisdom um, in a very direct way, understanding that, again, the voice of the preacher and the voice of the prophet, uh, we are accountable in the land. And that at the end of the day, my hands, they gotta be clean. They must be clean so that I can represent the king and the kingdom. This is what it's about. Blessings abound, folks. And uh, there you have it, folks. The interview is finished. And um, as always, my prayer is that my heart is understood. Um, as certainly, I'm always thinking of the seniors and the children. And when we put them first, we'll consider our ways a bit more carefully, all right? All right, blessings abound.